and welcome to our celebration on this, the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please join with us in singing our prelude on Eagle's Wings. shelter of the Lord who abide in his shadow for life. Say to the Lord, my refuge, my rock in whom I trust, and he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breast of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand. The snare of the fowler will never capture you, and famine will bring you no fear. Under his wings your refuge is faithfulness, your shield. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you palm of his hand. Good morning, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to our family mass. This morning, we are welcoming our sister, Monina Therese into our family. She is here to be baptized and we are here to welcome her and witness her being born into the family of God. We start here at the doors of the church for the reason that this is how we physically come into the church, but it is also to indicate that spiritually Monina is coming into the church. So let us all lift our hearts and pray for the family and for Monina so that she will grow to be a strong disciple of Christ. So with that, my brothers and sisters, let us start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, your family has experienced great joy at the birth of your child, and the church shares your happiness. Today, this joy has brought you to the church to give thanks to God for the gift of your child and to celebrate a new birth in the waters of baptism. This community rejoices with you, for today the number of those baptized in Christ will be increased, and we offer you our support in raising your child in the practice of the faith. Therefore, brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to participate in this celebration, listening to God's word, praying for this child and her family, and renewing our commitment to the Lord and to his people. Parents, I ask you, Sharif and Margarita, what name do you give your child? Monina Therese. Monina Therese. And what do you ask of God's church for Monina Therese? Eternal life. Eternal life. In asking for baptism for your child, you are undertaking the responsibility of raising her in the faith so that keeping commandments, she may love the Lord and her neighbor as Christ taught us. Do you understand this responsibility? Yes, Father. Godparents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty? Yes. Monina Therese, the church of God receives you with great joy in her name, I sign you with the sign of the cross of Christ our Savior. Then after me, parents and godparents will do the same. Yeah. Is that it? 
beautiful. Okay, now go ahead and walk down. We just sing. Please stand now and join us in singing Glory to God. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And all Have mercy on us. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny 
whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall march before our God and guide us to peace. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites. Theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. There's the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After he had fed the people, Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and proceed to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. In doing so, he went up on a holy mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught Peter and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Very good to be with you here and to see all of you back in our family home. How wonderful that is. Today's message is wonderful for us, okay? So I don't know about you, but I suspect that many of you may have had times in your lives where a decision had to be made or there was some experience some moment where there was bewilderment what do i do i don't know where to turn in this situation well i will tell you for me i have had many of which i will share one of those with you so as many of you know i was a pediatrician living a very comfortable life go to work come home have dinner just take it easy and then the lord shook things up a bit and he said, you. I said, me? <laughs> so he was calling me to serve him as a priest. And so I didn't know where to go with that. I mean, that's a big change to leave everything that I had established that was working for me, that was comfortable. So I turned to talking to God. I turned to prayer, and I prayed, and I prayed, and I prayed, and no answer came. So what did I do? I kept praying. And I thank God for that grace of perseverance, which we all have to ask for, because our time is not God's time. And so he did answer me about a year later. And where and when did that happen? That happened in the beautiful stillness and silence of Eucharistic adoration. Silence. I heard him in the silence. It was resounding. It was clear. I was confident it was him in that silence, in that stillness. And that's what we heard in today's first reading. Elijah's being called to go and sign up two new kings and to anoint his successor. But he was fearful because all the prophets before him had been killed. So fear was paralyzing him. 
And we heard today in the gospel, right? Peter was doing great until he started to fear. Then he began to sink. Moses, same mountain, Mount Horeb. He's told by our Lord, I need you to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Moses said, me? I can't do that. So our, he said, give me a sign or, or just leave us alone. And we know what that sign was, right? The burning bush. The burning bush. And our Lord told Moses, I am who am. I am who, I, who am. And today in the gospel, as Jesus is walking towards them on the boat, our Lord says, don't be afraid, it is I, echoing what happened on Mount Horeb. That assurance that he is God. Because of his, what he did, he walks on water, he calms the storms, he parts the Red Sea when Moses was leading them out. So we have to have confidence. So what does that mean for us? What does that mean for us in our everyday lives? I'm sure you all right now, some of you may be pondering a very heavy question. And I assure you, God wants to answer you. And he will answer you. But have faith. Persevere in your prayer. Be patient. Be patient because if you try to unfold God's plan before it's time, it's going to fail. It's going to fail. And so that's where we have to have that humility to be patient and work in God's plan, not my plan, right? We all have our plan. My plan is the best plan. No, it's not, I promise you. And I will tell you, I was so joyful in seminary. I loved every single day. There was one day when I was really tired. It was a Friday afternoon and this was my longest day because I had an elective in the afternoon and Fridays we had Eucharistic adoration and I remember just rushing back to my room, dropping my books off and walking down this football field long hallway to get to the chapel. And I'm saying to myself, you know, when I was in private practice, I didn't have to deal with this. I left my office, I bought my dinner, as I said to you, and I went home, I put on some nice music, I had a glass of wine and I was awesome, comfortable. And then all of a sudden, the grace of God like snapped me out of it and said, but that's not his plan. I said, that's not your plan, Lord. And it's like I got this boost of energy and I just went towards that chapel. So I just want to assure you, brothers and sisters, trust him, pray, spend time in adoration. I know that we have, we have it here every Friday morning till noon. The church is empty. Don't be afraid. There's very few people here. The church is open, I think, till about noon every day. If you just want to walk in, he doesn't have to be in the monstrance. He's right there in the tabernacle. Just come and sit in that silent, beautiful, serene stillness. And you will hear his voice because that's when his voice is the loudest, is in that stillness. Because this world is bringing all this noise to us. We can't even have the time to focus on him. You see? And once we hear what it is we're looking to get, the answer we're looking for, then we have to act. Okay? No time for vacillating at that point. When God answers, he wants action. Action. Remember, you put your plow, your hands to the plow, don't look back. Forward, forward, forward to his will, because in his will, I promise you, I assure you, God assures you, you will have joy, and you will have life, and you will have a peace that this world cannot touch. Who doesn't want that? And soon we'll come forward and approach our Lord. And let him come still your heart. Still your heart. Let him come in and listen. Listen to what our Lord's saying to you. 
And I assure you, in that silence, you will start to see many miracles. God bless you all. And now we're going to invite Monina Therese and the parents and godparents to come around here, please, to the baptismal font. And it's the parents and godparents that are going to be listening in silence as they raise Monina Therese in the faith to see what it is that God has as their responsibility in her life. Right, Monina? You agree? Okay. I knew you would. You're just amazing. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, let us invoke the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ for this child about to receive the grace of baptism for her parents, godparents, and all the baptized. Give this child new birth in baptism through the radiant divine mystery of your death and resurrection and join her to your holy church. The response is, Lord, we ask you, Hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make her a faithful disciple and a witness to your gospel through baptism and confirmation. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Lead her through holiness of life and the jo to the joys of the heavenly kingdom. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Make her parents and godparents a shining example of the faith to this child. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Keep her family always in your love. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. Renew the grace of baptism in each of us. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. And now the response will be, pray for us. We are going to invoke the saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Peter and Paul, pray, pray for us. St. Therese, pray, pray for us. us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray, pray for us. us. Almighty, ever-living God, who sent your Son into the world to drive out from us the power of Satan, the spirit of evil, and bring the human race, rescued from darkness, into the marvelous kingdom of your light, we humbly beseech you to free this child from original sin, to make her the temple of your glory and grant that your Holy Spirit may dwell in her through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Can you grab my mask on the altar? Thank you. I want to stay in compliance. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord God Almighty may bestow new life on this child by water and the Holy Spirit. O oh God, who by the invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through the sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism, O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son, baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit and as he hung upon the cross gave forth water from his side along with blood and after his resurrection commanded his disciples Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water received by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature, created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and godparents, through the sacrament of baptism, the child you have presented is about to receive from the love of God new life by water and the Holy Spirit. For your part, you must strive to bring her up in the faith so that this divine life may be preserved from the contagion of sin and may grow in her day by day. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, then mindful of your own baptism, renounce sin and profess faith in Christ Jesus, the faith of the church in which children are baptized. This will be for all of us, brothers and sisters. The response is, I do. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty show? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I, I do. do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now, parents and godparents, is it your will, therefore, that Monina Therese should receive baptism in the faith of the church, which we have all professed with you. Yes. Okay, we are now going to put her over the font. Glad you took her headband off. I don't want to be responsible for wetting that. Thank you. You can hold her neck and lean her over mine. Monina Therese, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, oh yes, and of the Holy Spirit. Hope I didn't mess up your perm. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king unto eternal life. Amen. Monina Therese, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. May this white garment, give it to the godmother, be a sign to you of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example and bring it unstained unto eternal life.
receive the light of Christ, parents and godparents. This light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. And so that your child, enlightened by Christ, may walk always as a child of the light and persevering in the faith may run to meet the Lord when he comes with all the saints in the heavenly court. May the Lord who made the deaf to hear and the mute to speak grant that you soon may receive his word with your ears and profess the faith with your lips to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Baptized in Christ, you are clothed with Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Wonderful. Brothers and sisters, we will now uh, ask you all to stand. We're going to pray. Dear brothers and sisters, this child reborn through baptism is now called a child of God, for indeed she is. Through confirmation, she will receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, and approaching the altar of the Lord, she will share at the table of his sacrifice and will call upon God as Father in the midst of the church. Now in her name and in the spirit of adop adoption as sons and daughters, which we have all received, let us pray together as the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And now I'm going to bless you, Mom. The Lord God Almighty, through his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, brings joy to Christian mothers, as the hope of eternal life shines forth upon their children. May he graciously bless the mother of this child so that as she now gives thanks for the gift of her child, she may always remain united with her in thanksgiving. In Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. May the Lord God Almighty, the giver of life, both in heaven and on earth, bless the father of this child so that together with his wife, they may by word and example prove to be the first witnesses of the faith to their child. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now for all of you. May the Lord God Almighty, who by water and the Holy Spirit has given us new birth into eternal life, abundantly bless his faithful here present, that always and everywhere they may be active members of his people and may bestow his peace on all who are here. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. Let us welcome our new sister. <laughs> welcome, Monina. Okay, you guys, and you can blow that out. Huh? Thank you. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us stand and present to our Heavenly Father our needs, our desires, and may we listen for that answer in its stillness. For the church, that we may witness to Christ's love by practicing charity and actively working for justice and peace throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they might find ways to bring an end to wars, violence, and nuclear threats, and work to promote the peace and development for all nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are traveling, for all whose work takes them away from home, for refugees and migrant workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are struggling with hardships and life's misfortunes, for those who seek the spiritual food that will sustain them, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Our Lady, undoer of knots, may help us undo the knots that impede us from fully understanding the dignity of life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are in need of our prayers, especially Renee Miller, Angelica Gomez, Ina Castro, all our injured men and women in the armed forces, and all included in our book of intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Rex Waltman, those killed in conflict and natural disasters throughout the world, and all our men and women who gave their lives for our country, that having shared the bread of life, we may sit together someday at the great heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we submit all these, our needs, to your most gracious will and answer them, Lord, so that we may grow more in your image and likeness. Through Christ our Lord, amen. As our gifts are prepared for the altar, Please join us in singing the Jesus song. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, trust in you. I trust in you. You are the Son of the living God. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, heaven and earth, are full of your glory, are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who Comes. Blessed he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought for your consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread, when we eat this bread, and drink this cup, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, we proclaim your death, O Lord, o Lord until you come again. 
until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be blessed, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Felipe our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, you take away the 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Please join us now in singing our communion song, To Be Your Bread Now.
us, Lord, for we are broken. Make us one again. To be your bread now, be your wine now, Lord, come and change us to be a sign of your love. Blessed and broken, poured and flowing, gift that you gave us to be your body once again.
My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. As we are sent forth to share God's love and joy with the world, please join us in singing, Let There Be Peace on Earth. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. That was meant to be with God as our Father, brothers all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. This be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my song. 